the clock culture is part of just who I am. I love my cutoffs and flip flops and being as relaxed as can be. Oh God. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's well. Um, welcome to the show. My name is Lara, and I do everything in chapter form. And at the end of each chapter, I have what I call commercials, but they're just things I find funny online and I want to share. So that's that. Anyways, this one's just going to be a slightly different. Um, I'm going to cover everything I've missed because I take like a day or two off and everything happens, of course. So I'm going to cover that, give you my input because I haven't really seen anybody else's. And um, then the second one, because I've got two, is going to be very, very shocking. Um, I'm going to warn you all now. <laughs> I'm going to share a little bit of what I'm doing on Patreon um, and let you guys get a little bit of a glimpse into that. If anybody wants to watch that show, we'll talk about it later, but let's just get to it. Okay, we're just going to get right into it. <laughs> I don't like to go just by MSM, um, as you all know, well, lots of you know, so I tend to mix them up. So I will have a couple headlines coming up, and I do have some footage, but I also like to give my own interpretation of things, you know what I mean? As y'all know. <laughs> so anyways, I have not, I purposely did not watch any YouTubers. I have no idea what they're saying. I know what a couple people are saying on X and that. But I wanted to do that because I'm hoping that they're seeing the same stuff I am. <laughs> okay. What the hell is she wearing? First off, we have to talk about that. Um. Oh my God, you guys. Like, she showed up there Every single thing this broad is wearing is like a come hither, come to my bedroom outfit. And she's in a predominantly Muslim country. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to go through a few little photographs and give you my take. Do you see anybody smiling? I don't. You, oh, excuse, oh, I lied. I lied. Rochel is smiling. Of course, right at the camera. Heavily photoshopped. How come she's not Nigerian all over her body? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you guys, that is so bad. So, so bad. What the hell is that nonsense? And there she is clutching his hand. Of course. She was so rude to that lady, you guys. It, oh, my God. She was literally talking to her and Rochel saw the camera and just turned around and that was it. It's, uh, it was shocking. Shocking. So look at that. Look at that, you guys. This is from Nancy Sidley. Um, on X. motion unbelievable unbelievable just disgusting really she's just so vapid and empty and vain and just ugh. another too long dress shocker so I saw this you guys and I just was like blown away Inappropriate beyond inappropriate and Photoshop to the hilt. Absolutely. Like, are you kidding me right now? And she forgot her bronzer, obviously. But she's this is literally what she wants the world to see. That is not a humanitarian. That that's gross. I'm sorry, but that is just gross. And of course cosplaying Princess Diana again, wearing the same earrings and same necklace because that's what Princess Diana wore when she went to Nigeria. This woman, it, uh, <laughs> you guys, she is bloody unhackable. Like, seeing this in action is just... Uh, 
literally blows my bloody mind. It really does. Like watching her in action. You know what I mean? She's been laying low, but this is just unbelievably unbelievable. <laughs> so I found this and I was like, I could not have said it better myself. This photo does not look as if these students of Light Academy are admiring Meghan Markle. I don't know, but this almost looks like scorn. Why were they looking at her like that? If I were their media handlers, this particular photo would not have gone out. It speaks a thousand words, most of them not positive. Right? Right? Like, look at the girls. Oh... How come she didn't go there and talk about, like, how Nigeria is the biggest country for, you know, uh, mutilation of the female anatomy? You know what I mean? Like, that kind of stuff. No, no, that's not her. No, no, no. So this is at a school that they went to, which we'll get into here. So how do you tell me you're not a mother without telling me you're not a mother? Listen to that. Our daughter, Lily, she's about to turn three. And a few weeks ago, she looked at me and she saw the reflection in my eyes. And she said, Mama, I see me in you. She was talking literally, but I hung on to those words in a very different way. And I thought, I do see me and you. But as I look around, I see myself in all of you as well. Megan. Are you joking? Is, is this like, I feel like we're on candid camera, the whole world's on candid camera, and somebody's going to come out and go, ah, just a joke, because what in the F is that? <clears throat> that's bullshit, is that, that's what that is. So this picture almost killed me. That dress, what in the hell? Like, oh my God. <laughs> It's probably supposed to be mid-thigh or something, right? Because <laughs> it's supposed to be for someone who's like 5'11 or something. Oh, my God. Anyways, they're at the school, right? And they're, quote-unquote, playing with the children. And I'm thinking, why don't you show us your children? This was a screen grab, but I will show a little bit of footage. But I just am like... This shows how long that stinking dress was and that it was just a, an entire mess. The whole the whole thing was an entire disaster. But uh, so you're trying to show us how good of a mother you are, Rochel and Harry father by doing it with other children. Is that what you're trying to do? What are you trying to do exactly? So we'll just watch this. It's just ridiculous. So if you take anything away from today, just know that mental health affects every single person in the entire world. And the more you talk about it, the more you can kick stigma away, throw it away, into the long grass. Yep, wasn't that just lovely? <clears throat> what is he doing standing up there talking about something that he doesn't have any expertise in? And their culture is entirely different from anything that's British or American or anything in the, you know, English speaking countries basically like what in the Sam hell is he trying to do what are they trying to do I have no idea well I think I do they're trying to be royals on their own but that's not how that works that is not how that works so let's not get on to the next thing so they give him a painting of himself right with his mom and he literally kisses the painting. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God. Like, could it get more cringy? I don't know. I didn't think they could. They're top themselves every time, you guys. It's just. <laughs> oh, man. 
I can tell you where this one's going to go. Right in the bin. <laughs> There's no way they're keeping that. No stinking way. And then I saw this and almost died. Like, <laughs> what? What? Okay. Okay, then. So I noticed that with, there is, like, they have flooded the media, you guys, with good stories about these two fools. But every once in a while, you get one that's, you know, telling somewhat of the truth. So this says, Prince Harry slammed by royal fans after Nigeria move as King Charles is urged to step in. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's visit to Nigeria has been likened to a royal tour, even though they are no longer working royals. Yeah, no kidding. And I could not believe this was why. Prince Harry has received backlash after pictures and videos emerged of him inspecting troops in Nigeria, with some claiming he has no right to do so because he is not a working member of the royal family. Not only that, he doesn't even have any kind of ranking, really, you know, of any importance, to think that these people have to, what, answer to him? That he gives the nod of okay? What unbloody joke. Like... <clears throat> this is a bloody joke. I'm sorry, but it is. WTF? <laughs> oh my God. You know that this has been approved by her too because the heavy photoshopping, right? What the hell? They're trying to look all dignified and shit. Sorry, but a tramp's a tramp's a tramp. I love this one because that vein ain't going nowhere. And I don't know, is it the mark of the beast? Because <laughs> that is something else. Love it. <laughs> so then there was this disaster again. <clears throat> Meghan Markle is glam moment in strapless dress at reception with Prince Harry in Nigeria. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are off to a busy second day in Nigeria. Like, again, another completely inappropriate dress. Why is she constantly showing her shoulders? Does she think that's the best part of her body or what the hell? Because that's all we ever see with her. It's like she's naked half the time. If you cut her off from the, you know, right above the boob up, if her most of her pictures, she looks naked. <laughs> what the hell? So I'm just going to show you how, um, what upstanding citizens they are. sat there uncomfortable as hell like while they got their lovely reception and then they actually played god save the i guess king now right and those assholes couldn't even sing the words are you joking like oh my god unhackable doesn't even begin to describe these two all right so another occasion Good grief. And none of them is she dressed appropriately. M.M. thanks Nigerians for welcoming her, welcoming her to my country. Duchess of Sussex tells audience she hopes she can do justice being a role model. Like I said, I feel like we're on candy camera right now. So, like I said, they are flooding the media with this kind of bullshit. Duchess Megan. Duchess Megan. When did that happen? I'd like to know when that happened. My God. Slips into a ruffled red gown a ga to host women's leaders panel in Nigeria. 
Her style streak gets better and better. Who is writing this garbage for Bizarre? Well, it is Bizarre. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. What? Oh, my God. So, let's just have a little peek at this foolish nonsense. Her country? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> she just takes the piss, doesn't she? She will use and abuse anybody for whatever gain she can get it. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to sh show you a quick, cute little thing that has to do with this. Growing up, I had no idea I was 42% Nigerian, but I did everything in my power to get rid of my Nigerian nose. <laughs> I've had two nose jobs because, you know, I put Caucasian on my driver's license. Um, but then I wanted to be relevant, so here I am with a shit ton of bronzer on. Thought I would interject a little humor because I was starting to lose my bloody mind. <laughs> so yeah, this is funny, I thought. I just had to show you I see London, I see France. <laughs> Looks like she's wearing a slip. What in the hell is she wearing? I love when I find little tidbits like that that says everything that I feel because this is how I feel. My country farce. Now, Nutmeg let her host know how happy she was to be back to her, my country. How the hell does she say that with a straight face? We all know that her family has been in the U.S. for generations. 48% Nigerian is impossible. She never addressed her actual tribe. This whole lie makes me irrationally angry and sad at the same time. I feel so sorry for the kids. Yeah, the, you know, those ones that they're supposed to have, yeah. Megan responded, I hope that I could do justice to the role model that I think so many young women deserve to have. Oh my God, they, she is the last person that can be a role model. Trust me. Obviously, in the face of all of you here, I now, I know that they see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love being a mom. I love being a mom. Megan said when asked for her advice on motherhood. That's not advice. Okay. WTF is this fraud 43% bronzer is talking about being a role model for who? Oh, so that she can teach how to race bait using men grift and exploit others for money for your benefit? So I put the picture there because it's both of them, right? But she's like, I love being a mom, I love being a mom. Then it's a pity, isn't it, that she left her newly five-year-old son at home. Also a pity that his dad yet again missed his son's birthday. And might I interject again? That's not advice. Good God. Okay, another event. Isn't this for Invictus? I mean, he's wearing Invictus. What is she wearing? She looks horrible, you guys. And she's pulling this, oh, I've got bulimia, or whatever the F it is. Because, like, she looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> I mean, really. You could see her bloody uh, rib cage. <sighs> Put some meat on your bones, woman. You look like a, an ostrich. I don't know. You look very, very bad. So Royal News Network put this on X. Megan's overly manic expression does not seem to match the child who looks a little terrified. Yeah, she really does, actually. She really does. And then behind her is that creepy photographer of hers in the orange shirt. He's everywhere she goes. He's like a real... Ugh. What's his name? Masson or something? Like, he is... Creepy. Ugh. So there she is. I circled that lady because look at her face. 
And I said, uh, she's dressed like a tart in primarily a Muslim country. I just don't understand, you guys. I just don't understand. How many outfits have we gone through? Like, none of them look appropriate. And the faces of uh, on these people, she is so blind to everything. It's always about her. Just her. <laughs> so Royal Gossip on X got it dead on. Dead on, right? Like, <clears throat> look at her. This is her I know I'm being photographed face. A hundred percent. And like, <sighs> the Photoshop is a little ridiculous. I am sorry. And it, she looks scary skinny. Like, it looks, it looks bad, okay? Like, I... I, I'm not trying to be rude here, and I'm not picking on her. Well, maybe I am a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, she's an awful person, and boy, when you see my second half, you're going to realize, yeah, it gets really, really dark. But um, this is sad. This is pathetic. So someone goes, how old do you think this knee is? I would say pretty close to 50 and belong to someone who leads a very unhealthy lifestyle. <laughs> And I'm just thinking, well, at least there's no, you know, rug burns. <laughs> I had to say it. Oh, my God. And this little girl again, they say, Nigerian people who are absolutely livid and protesting over hashtag Harry Meghan's faux royal visit. The Nigerian government is suppressing the press. Shocker, huh? Do you think the Nigerian people were happy? Leave a comment. Yeah. Really, suppressing this press, oh, shocker, is right. And this is why I don't follow MSM, because listen to this. This is uh, social media, right? We are getting reports that a Nigerian woman scolded Meghan Markle sternly yesterday for her inappropriate dressing at the Woo's like Academy. Meghan did not like the affront, and that's part of of why she pulled a Fiji Island style of abandoning the rest of the activities for yesterday. Holy shit. Oh my God. I completely believe that. I really do. So then I saw this on X. I think it's by Laird of the Manor. And I just took it and put it beside each other because he had it separately. Look at that, you guys. Like seriously, from the first picture to the last. Look at that. And then he puts the color she is wherever she is in the world. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. They're, they're attached like he does each one. So you can see how she was looking wherever she was. Absolutely crazy, eh? Mind-blowing, really. So I saw this was kind of cute, and I thought I'll end this chapter on this. The reason why Meghan Markle wed Harry. So she writes, scrolling through the 4,182 stories on the DM of the Sussex faux royal visit to Nigeria, I came across this little gem. Meghan claims she married Harry for his snicker intelligence. Blah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh. I have trouble saying the word intelligence in the same sentence as Harry, unless the words lack of preceded. <laughs> well, we all know she did not marry the ex bear for his brains. He's about as sharp as a wine glass rim. <laughs> and it certainly was not for his looks. And we're all thinking the exact same thing. So go ahead and pile on your answers as to what on earth made. What did it just say? Sorry, guys. I think I cut it off. Damn. Well, that was really unprofessional. <laughs> I guess this was the, the rest of it. Made an American commoner marry a member of the BRF. And extra shout-outs to those who can describe how that first date went down at the Soho Hooker House. <laughs> so I put that picture there, right? And then they wrote, but is he kind? <laughs> well, he's kind of an arrogant arse. Because if he wasn't, then it just didn't make sense. <laughs> What is the matchmaker supposed to say? Listen, he's a bit dim and even sadistic at times, but you'll get along well with him. Ha ha ha, I never pictured it from the matchmaker's point of view. Nice one. 
It's hilarious because it highlights her awareness of why the entire world knowing why she married him, right? Money. But thanks for the explanation, Rach. <laughs> All he said was, it's okay to not be okay. Brilliant. She had him pegged from the start. Take that how you will. Plus Soho House Compromat tape nicely in the can. Care of Marcus. Stupid boy. Hadn't got a chance. True Prince of Peg. <laughs> Reminds me of the old advice for betting women. Tell a beautiful woman she's intelligent. Tell an intelligent woman she's beautiful. But Harry's not handsome, so I guess it falls apart. She probably told him he looks like a king. Burger King. <laughs> Strange way to spell money. His own mother, the woman Mrs. Dumb Arston worships, called him thick. So no, nutmeg, we're not buying it. Thanks for the laugh, though. <laughs> right? Good God. There's a picture of her grinning happily at the camera and three schoolgirls are behind her and looking down and it looks like they're trying to contain their giggles. I think they were looking at her dress dragging on the ground. She hi she's hiding her skyscraper shoes again, pretending to be tall, yet those girls are all wearing flats and almost as tall as the Markle in her uber high platform shoes, carefully hidden by her stupidly long dragging hemline. Agreed. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I got a few commercials for us, and then we're going to some crazy town. Yeah. Stuff that Harry has written in his book is really quite honest and revealing. And I just want to quote a couple of bits <laughs> here. So I knew that I'd have to marry the mattress actress. <laughs> Me, the copper top man child. <laughs> it would be a marriage of crap flavored with nutmeg, <laughs> ginger, and betrayal. We'd be a duo of whingers. We'd offer ourselves as a pandemic of profit-grabbing disrespect to the British public and the world generally. We'd be called traitor celebrities, gangsters and outcasts. But I did it anyway for the money. So like, it's just a normal, I'm just a normal girl who became a princess who faced really bad systemic racism out there and had to change society and speak up and be a voice for women, which I was a voice for women, sent a letter to that company and told them to change the way they spoke to women. And they did because of what I sent them. <sighs> over with Harry's family and you were, you know, having a dinner, which was so formal and said, like, bow and, like, eat with our mouths closed, but they served fried chicken that day. And it was a direct attack. Like, I, as a black woman, no one was speaking up for me. And it was just such a systemically racist organization but the queen was lovely serving fried chicken to a black woman is racism it was just really hard when i was out there because no one asked how i was doing oh hi oprah sorry i'll be there okay Oprah is such a hoot. She was a really saving grace, and so is Tyler Perry. He let us stay when we first moved out here when we were just seeking refuge. The trauma I've been through, it's just been so good to heal. I want to be here, so I was made to be here. So obviously I'm just like wanting to get this over with and get on with my life. This is a big inconvenience for me. Too late. I think I am going to write a how-to book. Hello, good afternoon from Nikki and from me from Castle Goring. I will therefore plunge right in because we have an awful lot to discuss today. Well, if the diagnosis of sociopath is correct, and there are certainly indications that it is not far off the mark, her version of a reality does not accord with everybody else's. Her truth is not the truth. You cannot believe the word of a proven liar. She is a proven liar. She has even lied, not only in her original witness statement, but in her correction to the witness statement, claiming falsely that she didn't remember. Make no mistake about it. 
don't do what she's doing to your father, even if he wasn't a good and loving father, and he was, unless you are a debased piece of scum, which in my opinion, would be actually a flattering way of describing that bit of firm. I thought I'd throw a couple in there extra because what we're going to be talking about is pretty dark. Things I find online, truth and gossip, and the dark side. That's what this is about. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the odd little bits and bobs I find, and then I'm going to give you a sneak peek into what the Patreon video is going to be about. And I wanted to share a bit of it with you guys because it's pretty shocking. But we'll get to that in a minute. I found this picture and I can't recall where I found it, you guys. But it was out as Archie. That is what this child was supposed to be, who. And I just wrote, oh my God, is this the new child actor for Archie Official now that Eugenie put pics of her son August, the Netflix Archie, out? Because I think so. I It wouldn't surprise me one iota if that's why. But like, what in the Sam... Ha I don't know if it was a sugar or who the hell put this out. But give me another break already. We are on what? Archie number six? Holy shit. And there's always a bump pick. Uh, sub sent me this and I just wrote nope it looks wrong in every angle because we've all seen the pictures of her in this dress but this one I hadn't seen and look how bizarre it looks honestly like what and you could tell it's just digging into her back I don't get it I don't understand <clears throat> any of this with her I don't like I said stuff is flooding everywhere and I wrote the leaks definitely came early because this is in Harper's Bazaar in 2019 and it's it's just like out there all of a sudden in a previously unseen photo Duchess Megan again Duchess Megan you guys she is so behind this shit can be seen volunteering in a soup kitchen in Toronto where the actress was based while filming why is this like I didn't go looking for this why is this kind of shit popping up now? Right? Like, <laughs> holy. Whoever she hired is trying desperately to fool the public. No question. I mean, it's just flooded. It's insane. Oh, yes, this one. Because when I found this picture, I want... I said, I just said, it's very obvious, this difference in how these two women touch their bellies. Like, look at that. Because remember that there was a lady there who was actually pregnant, this one? Yeah, huge difference. Like, you cannot get around it. You just cannot get around it. This picture was in the Daily Mail, and I just laughed. I just wrote, she always has loved kids. Because, like, look at her. She is just, she was a bad seed, I think. Because some people are, you know. So she's flooding the media with this stuff, but you always get the opposite too, right? Hashtag MM being a humanitarian in India. You can tell they think she's insufferable too. Why film it and make it a slick production? Do it because you're interested or you care. Hashtag MM exposed. Hashtag MM is a fraud. Hashtag MM is a con artist. That's what's going around, guys. So I saw this and I just said, I wonder who started these nasty rumors, right? The first three guesses don't count. So I'm just going to call her C for this because it's just better that way. C has had a hysterectomy. She's had plastic surgery on her face. C has had boob augmentation. C had surgery to fix damage inflicted on her by W's DA. C had bottom augmentation. C had an affair with Thomas Kingston, which results in a pregnancy. C is divorcing W and has run away. C has an eating disorder and is a mental ho in a mental hospital. C has a drug abuse problem and is in rehab. 
C has an alcohol problem as and it, oh they said it twice. Oh, an alcohol and drug. Okay, different. C is in a coma. C is dead and the royal family are hiding the news. C had an affair with A, her uncle by marriage. C has had a mental breakdown and has been institutionalized. What <clears throat> Can you believe the utter audacity of this woman? Honest to God. Just absolutely crazy. Okay, so you guys, what you see in front of you, um, a sub told me about this and asked me to do a video on it. And some of it is just cannot be for this channel. So it has to be on Patreon. But I am going to share some of it with you guys. Um, this is somebody who knows her. I will reveal in Patreon who it is, but, um, or who they pretty sure it is anyways. But this is somebody who knows her well, you guys. And I'm going to read you stuff from 19 or 2019 into 2021. And I'm, I'm just going to read the post and you guys will be able to figure it out because it's wild. Okay. This person calls MM Darling. Uh, all the time darling by the way who can you trust people who seem to be your last hope are betraying you and then april 12 19 darling arrogance comes before the fall you are being watched your shadows know all your moves they move in silence because the time of breaking the silence is when the queen says checkmate to you my little pawn so this was i'll tell you their name was toronto paper one and it's been abandoned, this um, particular postings. There's 248 of them. Um, but they're still up. But they haven't been posted since 2021. But I will di I digress and we'll just go back in time. This is April 11th, all of these. And then the one last one's the 9th of April of 19. Darling, already working on the Photoshop baby pics. You should concentrate more on the details. The announcement today was amateurish. By the way, you know what happens at the moment of the birth. Lord Watchdog has everything prepared. Tick tock boom. Darling, threatening again. Sign of desperation and intractability. Remember, that never worked out. You, your helpers and paid off bloggers are being watched. We got the proof. Don't dig the hole even deeper. By the way, Harvey's mentioned often lately. You know what that means. Darling, you've been the main topic of the lawyer meeting today. You should be very nervous. By the way, the diplomats have done their work already. Tick tock boom. They put, if you don't have a seat at the table, you're probably on the menu. Now this has two connotations and you guys can think about that. But I'll be talking about that in Patreon only. But just let your what let your mind go wild, darling. Sleepless in London, we would be too. You've been digging that hole so deep, there's no way out. And a reminder for the birth. Remember who has custody after the birth and what this means. Then they have high treason, darling. Are you nervous seeing that the president you are calling syphilis is invited officially to the UK? That would be Trump. Doesn't look good for you for F E. I'm just going to say E. E either. By the way, Sarah had an interesting meeting. I don't, oh, shoot. I guess I'm going backwards. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, April 4th to April 1st. Darling, finally the world will see you. Will see your acting talent. You won't get the Oscar, but maybe the AVN. Congrats. Look where else. Look where the Kardashian got, and yours is even more spectacular. They're talking about the tape, you guys. The one that is obviously very bad. Darling, the heat is rising. Everything is on fire. The labor secretary was grilled over plea deal today. Everything will come out soon. You should be nervous. By the way, buying followers again? How pitiful. Yep, she was still online. Darling, as you were trying to fool the whole world, wasn't today the perfect day to give birth? Instead, trying to fool us with Photoshop pics... You always forget about the details like ears, but good to see that your jeans still fit. By the way, is it summer in London yet? Darling, finally April. So it's going back. I apologize. I'll put the second batch in the right order. 
Darling, by the way, there are pics of you in even worse conditions than your sister-in-law. You want them to be released. What? Remember, actions cause reactions. You should fear the reaction to your smear campaign. There is something coming. Darling, are you sure about this smear campaign? Remember who cheated like beating world records. And remember where you did that and who organized your services. And the DNA has to fit. And the queen must be told first. She saw through you a long time ago. What will her new powerful lord watchdog do with you? What a mess. Darling, enough with the distraction. How will you get out of your pregnancy mess? You know you have to present a baby in front of the Lindo wing. You know a real one born of your body, not silicone. How are you going to do that? Holy crap, you guys. This was going on when she was supposedly pregnant with artificial darling you lost control over everything and now smear campaigns against the future monarchs we feel your desperation and anger you are alone and realizing that you are just a pawn you can't hide forever the truth comes out darling orange is the new black holy crap Patience is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The fight between the good and the evil takes time. Be patient. It is worth the waiting. Prepare yourself to see things you never wanted to see. You will understand our words when the time has come. Fake topless pics. Darling, are you kidding? Topless pics are nothing compared to what you are hiding. Save your money for denying the other things that are coming. And this is the last one that is in 2019 that I'll share. Darling, a reminder for you and your few friends left regarding your plans for the birth. She, and then they put high treason. Holy. She must have been crapping herself. This is crazy, you guys. So this is February 21. Darling, the third party has not given birth yet. You are a bit early. How do you produce the birth certificate? By the way, do you really think people will like the idea of copywriting the name? So this was Lilibet, right? February. Darling, how is life in your Soho Touch living commune now with less titles and the expectations? By the way, people are wondering where the first is. Archie. Time to hire the child actor again. Holy cow. February. Darling, another moon bump show. Still haven't learned about the sizes. At least this time you probably will get the baby legally, although he won't have a title, but neither will you for much longer. Darling, how pathetic. A miscarriage. This was November. Physically pregnant, you and your firstborn, where is he? With his legal mother who gave birth to him safe and living his best life. Oh my God. Okay, we're going to get into a little bit darker territory. July, darling, you are now well, you are well known by the owner of the Hollydale. Have you tried their famous pizza? Darling, what are you going to do with the Soho baby the world has never seen? What? Fire the child actor. By the way, no royal blood. Wasn't it called in medieval times a bastard? Darling, hired the child actor baby again. You have been a steady customer of the agency since South Africa. I have put that out there before you guys. Someone else said, okay, asked for a discount yet? By the way, aren't you a bit too old for couch surfing? Darling, his birthday is in two days. What you going to do now? People wondering where the baby is. No custody, no money. All plans failed. Get a job, peasant. So that's all I'm going to read from those posts. But you guys, this, these people know her. So I thought I'd bring this out because this is what I'll be discussing over there. Pizzagate. It was a CPCT ring. And guess who is one? Yeah, Chrissy Teigen. When all else is lost, just use demons for PR. I'll be reading out her tweets over there too, and they're disgusting. Then there I saw this. Oprah Winfrey's close friend, Jerry Harris, star of Oprah's Netflix show, Cheer, has been sentenced to 12 years in prison after being caught using his position to lure underage children into being R-worded. So these are the kind of people she's hanging out with. I'll also be talking about this. Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Dill, suggests that Diddy may have tapes of politician princes, and even preachers, which could now be in the hands of the feds. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. He had princes in there. He also had a couple of preachers in there. They got tapes of stuff. 
Oh, yes. So the mainstream media is trying desperately, of course, to make this sound like a conspiracy. But that's why I believe it. And I, I've i done a lot of deep diving. But anyways, hashtag Pizzagate, the documentary. So there's somebody who actually went into the truth. But then here's BBC News, the saga of Pizzagate, the fake story that shows how conspiracy theories spread. Oh, yes, 2016. So I'm just going to read this little bit out here. Is Megan the Duchess of Sussex evil? Ironically, her three names, Rachel, Meghan, Markle, each individually contain six letters, 666. In biblical terms, this number describes the number of the beast in Revelations 13, 15 to 18, and often described in the second coming as the Antichrist. However, to define my rationale in conventional prose is to cause pain for her own father through her friends and the media is undoubtedly evil. To use friends as messengers to the press to fake publish fake scandal about an affair between a famous relative and his neighbor with intention to cause unfounded spousal suspicion within two marriages is definitely evil. To love bomb, exploit and con an emotionally unstable and vulnerable spouse into believing his father and grandparents' treatment of him was of an abusive nature where there is no evidence of cruelty is manipulative and evil. To use emotional blackmail to gain access to underserved privileges is evil. To bully and undermine staff from less privileged circumstances is evil. To body shame a three-year-old girl is seriously evil. To deliberately set up a paparazzi trap for the purpose of suing the media is evil. To spend a million dollars on a wardrobe while telling the minions to donate hard-earned money to charities is hypocritical. Hypocrisy or false witness is evil. To exercise one's privilege and entitlement over the masses while preaching about equality and freedom of speech then banning outspoken opponents from having a public voice is evil. To resurrect past history of human transgressions to incite racial disharmony and violence is evil. To tell 17 plus 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 lies on a TV interview with the intention of destroying a 1,400-year-old monarchy is evil, etc., etc. To hire photographers to capture act her acting as though she's emotionally affected by the, at the memorial of 19 slaughtered innocent children and two teachers and market the photos to tabloids while the entire community is in pain is beyond evil. So I read that out because that is what I will be discussing over there, you guys. Um, the rituals, all of the stuff of Holly Weird... And how Rachel's involved. Because there was one item that I read out in my last Patreon video. And the Patreons, if you want to go and check and see if you can find that. One item I said I would never talk about. Well, there is a lot more now to that item. And it is bad. So yes, I will be going there. I'll be going places nobody's gone before. I'm pretty damn sure of it. I'm pretty sure. Um, and by the way, you guys, this is stuff that I have studied for decades. I really have. Uh, I never thought I'd be talking about it, but it's stuff I've studied for decades. I know this is going on. It has been forever. And it's just been now that we have... Um, I guess, uh, like the internet and stuff like that, it's finally getting exposed, right? And Diddy's one of them. But I'm telling you, there is some really crazy stuff going on. And uh, I'm also going to read out all of the, the Toronto Sun or Toronto paper, what their posts say, what they mean, who's saying them, all that stuff. I wanted everybody to know on my video because I post it, but not everybody goes to the community page. So <clears throat> my Patreon is ACO, <clears throat> sorry, 980, and it's $4 a month. And the reason I even had it was just to have a backup for my stuff, right? That's it. 
And then I had information given to me that I needed to put on, I couldn't put on YouTube. So I put it there. And I just charged $4 and that was going to be it. Then I've made like three now. And so I decided I'll make one video a month, right? Because if you go out and like the next the one in the next Patreon is going to be well over an hour for sure. Um, if you go and watch an hour and a half one of uh, a movie or whatever, you're paying $15, right? So I didn't want to like overcharge anybody. This is stuff you want to see, but it's a paid app. That's all there is to it. Um, <clears throat> I get like 35% of it or sorry, they get like 35 or so percent and I get the rest. But like I said, I made it's it's one tier, four bucks, that's it. And these videos that I have, and I've got others that are are trust me, if you talk to any of my patrons, they have seen stuff they can never unsee. <laughs> they can never unsee that shit. Um, yeah, because I go everywhere, you guys. I really do. Uh yeah. Anyways, so I just do one tier. And then whoever wants to stay to support me and my channel. They do, and it's lovely. Everybody there is so nice, and anyways, it's just a lovely place to be. And we can talk as adults, and I love that. And I can talk about the stuff I want to talk about. So anyways, that's that. Um, I knew that, I know this one's a little bit different, but I just wanted to share some stuff with you guys because I, I don't want just only a few people knowing some stuff, but there's stuff I just can't talk about here, right? But I am going to put on some commercials for you. And we're just going to exit out that way. And the same thumbnail I have on this video, it's going to be the same one in the Patreon. It took me almost two hours to make this thumbnail, you guys. I know, it takes me forever to do stuff. So I'm just going to use it for both because it, it suits for both. So I ha hope you had fun in the first part. <laughs> and um, I, I did. I, I love doing these. And I'm really excited about doing the Patreon video. I have not done it yet. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday for us. It's still the weekend. I said the weekend, so I'm going to get it done tomorrow. But <clears throat> that being said, um, thank you so much for being here. Please sub if you aren't, like and comment, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay. Bye. Us looking at each other lovingly, you know, a few whispered words, you know the drill. And I swear, if any woman tries to come in and get a photo opportunity next to you, I'm pulling her around next to me, okay? I'm pulling her around next to me. Uh, do you get a little bit jealous when other women get a bit too close? Come on, you can say. No, but that is probably what the media will think, that I get nervous when women get too close to you. Yeah, and I suppose there's no truth to that at all, Megan. But it has nothing to do with that, okay? I'm in the center, front and center. I'm a duchess, okay? I'm in the middle. I'm not going to be abandoned on the outside or pushed to the periphery. Yeah, no, I don't think it's like that, though, Megan. You know, I mean, after all, it would be us that's actually won the game. And maybe some people will just want to get, you know, a photograph of the prince, you know, a real prince. Oh, yeah, yeah, what they want. Yeah, right, sure, what they want. Oh, no, but there's one problem with that, isn't there? I don't care what they want. Boys, <laughs> fantastic news. I've been writing an intimate memoir about my tortured life as a member of the royal family and I've just received a 20 million dollar advance from my publisher which is a massive relief obviously because it's been a few months since I secured my multi-million dollar deals with Spotify and Netflix so my wife was getting a bit naggy with me and cash was starting to run a bit thin because you know the LA lifestyle doesn't come cheap guys Obviously, some of the proceeds from the book will be going to charity, as I am a deeply caring individual. It was very difficult for me to write this memoir, because of course I'm a deeply private person. I don't like being the centre of attention, and all I want is a quiet life. But even after I'd done a comprehensive two-hour interview with Oprah, broadcast to an international <laughs> audience of millions, I felt like I still hadn't quite slagged off my family enough. Obviously, I've given the book to my wife to proofread before publication, just to make sure that every word of it reflects her in the best possible light, even if that means twisting the truth a little bit at times. You know, as much as I want the book to be an honest account of my life, you've got to provide entertainment value as well. And it's very important that the reader is constantly reminded of how victimised I've been at the hands of a cold, unfeeling royal family. 
It's vitally important to remember that victimhood is very much my brand, and I don't want to stray too far from that. I wouldn't want to take responsibility for my own problems and failings in life when I can sustain the lucrative narrative mm -hmm. that everything unpleasant that's ever happened to me is my family's fault. It's going to be a fantastic book. I mean, I'm not writing it, obviously. I've hired a ghostwriter. I would have done it myself, of course, but I'm just so busy making sure everybody knows what a private person I am. <laughs> anyway, hopefully it'll be out by Christmas. It's available for pre-order soon. Let's keep that money rolling in, guys. Whatever. I am not a fucking friend. Fuck that. Those fucking fuckers. Fuck. And that's his first word. <laughs> Brother, I love my brother, I love my family, I always, always do. You know, upon returning from my journey from the Arctic, I had severe frostbite on my todger, on my wee wee. And the doctors told me that they said, Harry, you know, it could turn black and fall off. Which was obviously a dig at Megan. Uh, no, no, no. That can actually happen. It could turn black and fall off from frostbite. Certainly, the British media will have you believe that. No, it no. It could turn black and fall off, but... That is what happens from frostbite. It hurt. Yeah. And I love my brother. I love my family. Deeply. But... I don't think this has anything to do with race. I really don't. Could be unconscious bias. This is about frostbite, Harry. Maybe she wanted to be black. I don't know. Oh, jeez.